Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. A little while back I did a story on a company called XMG because they actually managed to put AMD's 16 core Ryzen 9 3950X in a notebook. Yeah, that's 16 cores in a notebook and it's called the XMG Apex 15. Well, shortly after doing that video, I contacted them about getting a review unit to try out, and I was lucky enough that they sent one over, so a huge thanks for that. Of course, that won't affect this video, but really, this isn't so much a review of the laptop itself. It's more about what AMD's Ryzen 9 3950X can do in such a small form factor. See, this isn't some mobile variant like a mobile version of a GPU. It's a full AM4 based desktop Ryzen 9 3950X, just fit into a laptop. Now, that isn't to say it wasn't given limits. XMG used AMD's Eco configuration, which basically lowers the clocks to get it to a 65 watt TDP. Still, this is a 16 core CPU in a laptop. So how well does it perform? Can it compete with, say, a desktop Ryzen 9 3900X? To find out, I configured both systems as similarly as I could. The Apex 15 review unit that I got came with 16GB of DDR4 at 3200, so I configured the 3900X test bench with the same thing. As a side note, if you're using a Gigabyte X570 and you're having issues with the XMP profiles or overclocking memory in the BIOS at all, you're not alone. I finally got it to work with their Easy Tune tool. Anyway, with everything set up as similarly as I could get it, how did the Apex 15 stack up? Surprisingly well. In nearly every CPU benchmark I ran, the 3950X was at least slightly ahead of the 3900X. In fact, it even did a little better in single core performance, which was actually a bit odd since the clocks they gave for this are definitely lower than the 3900X. I also found other scores that were slightly higher than my 3900X and I'm really not sure why that was. I put it on Precision Boost Overdrive like the 3950X came configured with. Maybe it needs faster RAM, I don't know, but it really put the 3900X right at or slightly above the 3950X in single core performance and pretty neck and neck for multi-core. And honestly, that's a huge deal. Remember that the 3900X has a TDP of 105 watts, so getting the same multi-core performance at a TDP of 65 watts is impressive. Of course, the software has to be capable of utilizing all 16 of those cores, but luckily, most applications that use 12 will likely be able to use 16, at least depending on the application. Now, speaking of that 65 watts, remember that this is in reference to how much heat your cooler has to dissipate. AMD recommends liquid cooling for the stock 3950X, so how well does this bad boy stand up in a notebook? Well, it depends on how much noise is an issue for you. The Apex 15 actually holds up during even big workloads, staying around 70 degrees. Unfortunately, to maintain that temperature, any real jump in CPU usage will cause the Apex 15 to, um, get loud. Like, really loud. Of course, the fact that they could get it to work at all is nothing to scoff at, and XMG's rep did assure me that they're trying to fix it as best as they can. Still, that will be an issue for some, and you can't beat physics, so I doubt they'll get it too much better. Simply put, even with all of those pipes and a relatively thick chassis, though I will say it's thinner than it looks like in the pictures, the Apex 15 gets loud. With that said, they do offer a quiet fan curve, but the performance drop is staggering to say the least. It never got over 2 GHz when running Cinebench, and the score definitely reflected that. So what does all this mean for you? Well, for one, who would have thought we'd have a 16-core laptop this year? I mean, seriously, and it's a powerhouse of a notebook. Sure, it doesn't compete with the 3950X set to its normal TDP, but getting these numbers at 65 watts was unthinkable until now. Second, you may have noticed that I didn't mention gaming, and besides the fact that I couldn't get the same GPU on both platforms, there's really no reason to purchase a 16-core CPU for strictly games. This is definitely for professional type workloads. Of course, if you wanted a game with what we see comparing physics scores and 3D Mark, this bad boy can clearly handle its own. But of course, what about professionals? Is AMD's 3950X in a laptop worth it? Well, yeah. As long as you're okay with the noise, this is quite possibly the most powerful laptop on the market right now for multi-threaded workloads, period. Of course, it is quite pricey, but since when is having the fastest ever cheap? So while that does it for today, what do you think about this behemoth of a notebook? Is it everything you wanted and more, or would you rather go for something slimmer? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.